quesabiria tacos made with Mexican Coke. Let's go. Guys, we have a chuck roast right here. I'm gonna cut it up. Honestly, you don't need to use a chuck roast. Last time I did this, I used a rib roast. Anything that has a decent amount of fat in it, I'm not gonna cut it too much. I'm just gonna cut it so it's just chunks like that, so it braises off a little bit. For me, I'm looking for between two and three pounds. We go with a little bit of avocado oil. I like avocado oil because of the high smoke temp. Gonna add our Mexican rub to it. For links about the spice rub, check the recipe descriptions in the bottom. Just cut our limes. Get that acid in there. So now I'm just gonna mix this all up so it's nice and coated. And what I'm gonna do is I have a hot skillet behind me, this Dutch oven going. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to it and start searing this off. I want a nice crust on all the sides before we add in the rest of our vegetables and chilies. Okay, as that's searing, I'm gonna take a jalapeno, cut that down a couple times, throw it in. Take one white onion. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because everything later is gonna be stick blended, but I'm just gonna cut it like that. Throw it in there. We have one ancho chili, three arbol chilies, three guajillo chilies. What you wanna do is take the stem, break it off, saving as much chili as possible, and then tear them open and do that with every chili. Look at the amount of seeds that come out of here. Look at this. A couple seeds here or there are totally fine. You don't want all of the seeds in there. Let all the seasonings toast up. The vegetables cook. So now that it's seared off, we have to add in our braising liquid. And you know what? I know it's quesabiria, but I'm gonna use Mexican Coke on it. I'm not gonna use beef stock. I'm not gonna use water. I'm not gonna use chicken stock. I'm gonna use the Mexican Coke. The reason being is I like the way it reduces with the beef. I like how the sweetness blends with the fat. And I love that Mexican Coke has like natural sugars and sugar cane, so high fructose corn syrup. Great, amazing, give it a go. This is our dirty bowl. We're gonna hit our Coke in there because I want all of these spices and herbs to go back into the pot. I mean, use a spatula, guys. I just don't have one. Basically, I'm just gonna get everything off the side of that pot. That way, when I pour it back in, it's all inside here. Coke's in there, it's up to a simmer. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. We want it at this low simmer. I'm gonna put the lid on. That's gonna take about two and a half, three hours. You just want it to go till it's like fork tender, until you can take a spoon or a fork and just the meat shreds. Dude, I wish you could smell it on camera. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw away the bay leaves. So obviously we don't need that. But I'm gonna take the beef out. I'm gonna put it in a separate bowl leaving everything else in the pot. Before we shred the beef, I'm gonna stick blend this while it's still super hot. Now that we have the braising liquid all blended up, we call that the consomme, and that's literally what it is. That's the braising liquid all blended up, and it's essentially the stew, because birria is a stew, but when we're making quesabiria, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these quesadilla-like tortillas that are super amazing, and we're gonna dunk those tortillas in the stew, in the consomme, before we fry the tortillas and make the quesadilla, it's super awesome. Before we get to that though, we have to shred the beef. Absolutely gorgeous. So guys, just make sure you taste stuff, season along the way. This needs a little bit of salt, so I'm just gonna salt it, mix it up, taste it again. And remember, all we did was use a couple tablespoons of that, of that Mexican rub and a bunch of sweet, sweet Coke. There's no salt in here. So you wanna make sure that you're balancing that out a little bit more. A lot of home cooks, like your mom and dad and stuff like that are just regular home cooks. They're always like, oh, I made that and it was bland or like my food never turns out the same way. 90% of it, I bet, is not salting it and not salting it at multiple steps along the way. You can't make an entire meal and then sprinkle table salt on top. You have to salt it as you're cooking it. And keep in mind, I'm not doing this to make it salty. I'm doing this to bring out the other flavors and to round it out. Also, People are super surprised all the time at the amount of salt the food can take. This was a two and a half pound piece of meat with two Cokes. So that's like half, half a two, that's a liter of Coke plus everything else that's in it. A tablespoon of salt is not a lot for that. Keep that in mind. So we're gonna make a really fast Mexican relish. 
Now, if you don't know what that is, it's not like typical relish like you would think like hot dog. It's when you have the onions with the lime and the cilantro mixed together. That's super amazing with this dish. It provides a great amount of acid. Um, there's a lot of fat, the beef, the sugars, everything cooking down. So you really want to be able to have that acid. I'm just gonna dice up a white onion, chop up some cilantro, squeeze some limes into it. So that's it, just a diced onion, some cilantro, I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in it, limes, mix it up. And that lime juice is essentially the acidity that's gonna start almost like pickling, you know, like a ceviche style, getting this going. It'd be super great, contradiction, all that acid and that brightness and that freshness of the cilantro and the onion and the lime on top of that heavy beef taco. Okay, we'll set that aside. We need to shred our Oaxaca cheese. If you guys have never used Oaxaca before, it is really, really similar to mozzarella cheese. A lot of them come like this. You can just unroll it, break pieces off of it. And if you've ever had a cheese stick, you can literally just like, this is how you like, you just shred it, break it in half, tear these pieces out from it. And that's all I'm gonna do. Everything is prepped, mise en place out, a relish, Oaxaca beef is shredded, hot flat top, we have the tortillas out, we have the consomme, let's start making tacos. I'm using white corn tortillas. I'm gonna give them a quick dunk in the consomme, flap off the extra, throw it down. Dunk, flap off, throw it down. There we go. Throw some cheese right here on the inside. This is our quesadilla style. There we go. Make sure it's nice and spread out. Once they're both fried, I'm gonna take this and set it right on top like that. Take some more cheese, set the cheese physically on the grill. Take this, set it on top like that. Oh, that's the stuff. Okay, so we're gonna take shredded beef and put that just on one side. Some people like to dress it later. I like to just dress it right now because I find it a little bit easier. And then, oop, we lost this piece. There you go. And then we're just gonna take it and fold it right over. Give it a smush. Yes. Mmm! Got the first one done, flat tops up to temp. You know what time it is. We're about to roll out some tacos. Let's cue that montage. Guys, we got the tacos plated up. Check this out. A little bit of the consomme in the bowl next to the tacos. Take some of the onion relish, throw it into the consomme, right? Just like that. You know, maybe there's a little bit more on top. They look gorgeous. Check this out. Do a little dunk in the consomme, kind of like a French dip, but Mexican style. And then, mm. Do I have anything on my teeth? Yeah.